This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at a demo of Stable Diffusion 2.0. Stable Diffusion 2.0 is an AI model to generate images from textual prompts. So this is an improvement over the previous version of Stable Diffusion. That's what they claim over here. Uh, so you can get better images. It makes use of a new text encoder, open clip uh, VIT. And then you can also have some kind of, uh, you know, uh, 4x uh, upsampling latent uh, text guided diffusion model. So we'll directly jump into the demo. Okay. So this is part of the hugging face diffusers package. So you can easily um, make use of this hugging face diffusers um, package to, you know, implement uh, your stable diffusion 2.0 pipeline and you can generate images. So what I did was that I tried um, implementing this using a Google Colab. Okay. As well as I wanted to run it on a GPU instance. Here is where Jarvis lab comes into the picture. So Jarvis labs has a GPU instances. So you can rent GPU instances. Their pricing is also very nominal and you just have to uh, sign, sign up and then you have to put some money into the wallet, right? And then you can quickly create an instance. So it gives like this. Uh, so I created this instance and this instance over here was created very fast uh, in a few minutes, right? And then I can actually run uh, Jupyter Notebooks on this particular instance, okay? I can install the necessary packages. Uh, so the necessary packages which needs to be installed for uh, your uh, Stable Diffusion 2.0 is this, uh, your diffusers, transformers, accelerator, and SkyPy. So you can install all those things and you can quickly start your uh, experimentation. So I did an experiment over here as well as over here in Colab. So depending upon what you want to use, you can use. Okay. So first uh, you need to install these packages uh, in Google Colab. Then you need to log in and here you have to provide a token which you have created for access and you also have to accept the license for stable diffusion models. Okay. Once you do this, you can create a stable diffusion pipeline using just these three line, uh, these three, four lines of code. Okay. So this is copied directly from this model card page over here. Um, nothing special, right? And then you have to push the stable diffusion pipeline uh, to your um, GPU. Okay. Once you do that, uh, it's the same thing which I've done over here also in the Jupyter notebook on the Jarvis labs instance, GPU instance. Okay. So I first log in and then I do this. Uh, I create this pipeline and push it to the GPU, right? The model is stable diffusion two. Okay. So let's see what kind of images are getting generated. So this is my prompt, a professional photograph of an astronaut riding a horse on Mars. And this is the image which has been generated. Okay. So here I have the slightly older uh, prompt, which is a photo of an astronaut riding a horse on Mars. This goes for a toss over here. Okay. So this prompt works better. So I found this prompt again over here uh, in their uh, GitHub page. So where they said a professional photograph of uh, this thing. So based on that, I could uh, generate that particular prompt. Okay. Um, so somewhere over here, I had seen that. That's why I chose that particular prompt. Okay. So this is a very nice image which has been generated, a professional photograph of an astronaut riding a horse on Mars. Now let us look at some other prompts. So here is a professional photograph of a red rabbit on top of Mount Everest. You get this. Uh, looks nice. Maybe a little bit more reddish uh, rabbit was uh, I was expecting, but this is quite surreal. Okay. Here I have the prompt as a red rabbit on top of Mount Everest. So it kind of generates a cartoon. So you can see how based on just the prompt, you it changes, right? So here, if I put a professional photograph, okay, of a red rabbit, let's see what comes, okay. In the meanwhile, it will take some 50 seconds for it to run. So in the meanwhile, let's look at some other these things. Here is a prompt of a professional photograph of an astronaut driving red Ferrari on moon. Okay. This is the prompt. This is the image which has been generated. Uh, looks a little bit cartoonish, but this is okay. Okay. Uh, here it is still generating this particular image. Um, so let it generate this image. Mm, let's go to the prompt over here An astronaut driving a red Ferrari on the moon. This image is better than this image. Okay. I find this image 
yeah too many tests but still slightly modern ferrari compared to this one okay but let's look at the previous image if it has done ah so this is now a red rabbit on top of mount everest okay one thing to note over here is the prompt is the same right over here as well as here uh yeah uh the prompt is almost the same right professional photograph red rabbit on top of mount everest professional photograph of a red rabbit on top of mount everest you can see the images which is generated are different i've tried to keep the seed as same uh, but then it doesn't guarantee okay that you get the same images to be generated okay so then let us look at another prompt over here which is a drone shot of a forest near ice clad mountains i love this image so you have this forest you have ice clad mountains uh, this has been done very nicely okay so again i gave a drone shot of a forest with ice clad mountains on a background uh, you know this is a slightly different image which has been generated over here going back to the jarvis lab uh, prompt over here i have gave a drone shot of forest near ice clad mountains this image is quite similar to what has been generated over there for this prompt some kind of reproducibility then there is a watercolor painting of a valley uh, this image was generated not that great another watercolor painting of a valley mm, not that great over here right let's look over here how does it look uh, almost the same not that great okay so then you have a professional photograph of an astronaut driving a red ferrari on moon so this is like a little bit like a formula one car it's okay but not that great you have these artifacts and other things coming up over here okay so here is a professional photograph of a cat meditating in the midst of an island ah uh, like i like this island uh, picture maybe an island because some water is present over here okay here is a professional photograph of a room with a low light and table i like this picture okay a little bit more lighting should be different but you have this yellow lamp some kind of yellow structure over here okay uh this picture goes for a mess professional photograph of a king cobra on the grass it struggles with this earlier versions also used to struggle with this okay here is a professional photograph of rainy evening in bengaluru goes for a toss you can see this part of the image right i don't know what what has been generated over here okay and this is a professional photograph of a sofa with texture of rubik's cube again goes for a toss and here is a tibetan painting of obama i really like this uh, picture uh, you see this uh, tibetan painting outside right uh, and in the frame and uh, you know a picture of obama i like this picture okay now let's go to our collab demo and see i was trying obama addressing a press conference this goes for a toss with the people's faces it struggles with people's faces okay again astronaut driving red ferrari on moon goes for a toss this is a cat meditating in the midst of an island okay eyes are not so much proper over here then there is this a room with yellow light on a table yeah kind of right but not that great a uh, cobra goes for a toss okay rainy evening in bengaluru much better compared to this image which was generated over here both are the same versions of uh, stable diffusion 2.0 okay this picture is still okay uh, so far with texture of rubik's cube okay and then finally we have a tibetan painting of obama much better painting compared to this right so even with the same prompts what i'm seeing is that uh, you know the picture uh, which can get generated every time is different okay uh, but some pictures are really nice for example this obama picture in both places was really nice so you have to actually find out which kind of prompts will generate you what kind of pictures so a lot of experimentation needs to be done to get good useful images from stable diffusion 2.0 i hope this short uh, video on stable diffusion 2.0 is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel See you in another video.